What is it? Hair. Do, do, do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Whip Wednesday. <gasps> what are we working on today? I guess I'll start with one that's in my hand because I teased you with it. Apparently, apparently you're supposed to watch start in the middle of something according to YouTube. Like the experts, whatever, whatever, whatever. It is Wednesday. It is Whip Wednesday. We're not going to talk about what YouTube says you should or shouldn't do. I don't know. Anyway, what is this really? So much hair. Who's everywhere? Who's everywhere? Okay, so um, this has this beautiful seed stitch at the end. And then it has all the stock in it. And then it goes a little bit smaller because I had to do some decreases. I also had to change hook size because it's supposed to be a ski mask. Me. It's for my daughter, but let me put it on my head. Hopefully no stitches fall out in doing this. I'm just going to put this part on my head because it is very large. And so, um, yeah, I was like, wow, that was way bigger than I expected. So the idea, oh, sorry, I have things poke in my head. Um, I use bobby pins in my braid and they are like poking funny. Okay. Um, so, really? Why are they doing that? It's so rude. Um, so basically... The bottom part is, I just, I didn't start over. I just was like, we'll just have it kind of be cowly like, so a little bit bigger, fluffier around the neck, and then decrease it. And then the idea is, um, I put a stitch marker here, um, progress creeper, right at the end of the last decrease. So now I'm just working up the whole head and um, the, I'm going to make sure that that decrease is like right here on her. So I have to go from there to like right here before I put the eye bits in, eye space. Um, so that way the decrease, and I think once it's on, um, this is my hope. I hope once it's on that that weirdness that it goes out bigger will just seem intentional and we'll just make it so she just has kind of more of a scarfy look around her neck, but then it still goes up into the nice um, hat. We'll see, we'll see. This is what I'm working on. This is how far I've gotten. I started out, I may have showed this before, sort of. I started out with crochet. I was doing half double crochets around because the pattern that I found, like the guide, was kind of a pattern, kind of a recipe. Um, the pattern used half double crochets. Oh. Sorry. What is it with the hairs and fuzzies today? Anyway, so the, the pattern used half double crochets and I didn't like First of all, it felt like it was taking forever. I'm like, usually crochet is faster, but I'm like, I can knit stockinette hats way faster than I was crocheting that thing. So I was like, this is annoying as I'll get up. And, um, cause I had gotten, it take, took me a couple days to get this far with the half double crochets. Took me a couple days to get that far with uh, stuck in it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm like, mm, I will for sure. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get this done in time with the half double crochets. She has to have it, basically the goal is to have it by next Wednesday because she's going on Thursday. So we wanna have time to also wash it. And so really I need to get it done by Tuesday 
because Wednesday's her wash day anyway, so she can throw it in with her clothes. Um, but I wanted to get that done. And she has to wash it because the yarn had line, like the outside of the yarn. You could tell it's been around for a while. So I'm like, well, we'll just, I'll work it up and then you'll wash it. Anyway, so the other thing with the half double crochets is like the holes between it was so big and it was like, you're wearing the skiing. I've never been skiing. I grew up in Utah, greatest snow on earth according to our license plates, some of them. Um, I lived a half hour from a ski resort. Uh, when I lived in Logan, Utah, we had some ski resorts up Logan Canyon and just never made it. The first time I was going to go, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. Our church group was going and I was like, I can do it. I'll do it. <sighs> I'll do it. There was not enough snow in the mountains, so they actually shut down the ski resort and therefore we couldn't go. And I was like, well, that's a bummer. The next year I was like, mm -mm, not doing it. Mm -mm. But the next year I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. Okay, so I lived four miles from my high school. I rode the bus. You know, four mile bus ride. I don't know how long it usually takes. I think it took like 20 minutes to go home from school or something like that. It wasn't like too bad. I mean, it was a bus ride. Um, and we were pretty close to the first stop too, so it was however long it takes to drive four miles. Like 10 minutes, maybe? I don't know. Not a long time. It didn't take long to get home after school. The longest time was waiting for the bus to be ready to leave, which had to wait for all the kids and all that. So, um, yeah, doing the bus thing home on the day we were supposed to have a ski trip, it took an hour to get home. There was so much snow. It was a blizzard. There was so much snow. It took an hour to get home from school. And once we were home, we were going nowhere. And I was like, well, that just is a sign. That's the second time I decided I was going to go. It's the second time it was canceled. Two strikes. I don't do three. Nope. Gave you two chances. You failed your second chance. Nope. Okay, I give more than that with other people. But my daughter's going skiing. And she needs a ski mask. And she needs something that's going to be warm. So knitting itself, it has a little bit. I also switched, um, got went to a smaller needle up here, as well as doing the decreases, so the combination. Now I'm like worried, is this going to be too tight? I need to do like another inch and then put it on um, some... Uh, a stitch holder thing to let my daughter try it on and see how it fits around her face with less less stitches so that's so, out because like I knew it would have been fine if I had to change needle sizes but I also changed needle sizes one because okay so these needles here they're just a cheap set it had like six in a thing and the ones that were the bigger size they have a little catch because of how they made these needles and so it kept hurting my hand. So I was happy to be done with those. Alright, so that's it. I rambled way too long for those. That's one of the things I'm working on. Um, before I move on to the other things I will tell you, I worked on um, gnome hats, the little preemie gnome hats, and I'm not showing you because I actually finished the purple one. You'll see it on Friday. And I finished one that I started on Sunday. I started on Sunday, worked a lot on it on Sunday, and then I hurried and finished it on Monday because um, I need to wash them and then get them mailed this week. So I was like, nope, gotta finish this, I don't get away. And then, um, so those are, that's where I'm at. Yep. So I finished those. The other thing I worked on this week was of course my temperature projects. Um, and because today is the last day of January, I need to redo my hair before I go somewhere today. It's driving me crazy. Um, anyway, beef, blah, 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 blah. today is the last day of January, so tomorrow, I will do the temperatures. I can't do anything with the temperature sock because I do those weekly. 
Um, but I will finish the scarf the few days. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll do the four days worth of squares on the temperature scarf. And then those will be in creative expression on Monday. So you can see those the progress on temperature projects on Monday. The socks are going to be so pretty. So pretty. Like I'm like, oh, can I just do blues the whole time? Maybe get like three shades of blue and kind of do like the lighter ones and then go darker and darker. That would be really cool. But no, no, these are temperature socks. I can't do that this time. I'll have to make another pair. Um, so another project I did make progress on was this. My goal is to at least do um, one set. Sorry. One set of rows. So because I do, I figured out it's called twined. The, the method that I'm using for carrying the ends is called twining. Um, and it's a real technique, twined. Um, and because I'm doing twines, I, um, which basically means you twist it every time. I figure if I work across and then back so that it mostly unwinds the um, yarns, then I count that as like one row, but it's really a one row set. So it's two rows because it's one set of purl and one set of knits. Um, anyway, yeah. So this here is, this is just holding my um, ends because I don't know if I've, how well I've told you. Sorry, things are all twisty. So, um, because it's got this down the side and I did not want to carry, I did not want to carry the green. I did not want to carry the red and white all the way across this section. Um, I already had to carry the, do three colors through this section because there are definitely rows that have all three colors on them. Um, so I have a skein attached on this side. This skein, of course, is on this side, and I work back and forth. Um, I'm gonna just measure it out approximately what I thought I would need on this side. So I have the two white, white going down for the checkers on this side. And then um, I have the two skeins attached on this side. And then it should work out to where, I hope it works out to where, I can use the skein side to go across the bottom, but we'll see. Um, Cause yeah, just like it goes across here, the red and white checks here, that will go across the bottom of the picture. But let me move that, I'm gonna move it over there. Um, as you can see, I've got my little white, li <laughs> let's move it over here. I got my lifeline in there. I just use dental floss. Um, I've been counting really well my little thing you can kind of see it don't know if you can tell what it is yet I need to go in when I'm done and kind of um, straighten up some of the stitches because some of them are getting kind of hidden like right here one of the legs is kind of falling back behind so I need to go fix that um, that may have been the way that I knit it because is experimenting but it's pretty cool it's got this little eye over here <sighs> so yeah today I'm gonna do another row set my goal the reason why I'm doing one row set is so at least I'm making progress um a Shannon of another yarn says just one stitch is progress but I figure if I can do at least one row set a day at least I'm making progress while I'm super busy working on other things because my daughter needs her ski mask so soon that is my main priority project um, I prefer I get myself in these binds honestly I prefer not to have deadlines I really don't because I'd rather just pick up stuff that I feel like working on but I always end up making presents for people or things I don't mind that this is it was something she needed for her trip and I was like I can make that and so working on that um, 
but I get involved the mystery yarn challenge the um, make along for JD's creation and crochet the um, things we're making Thursday I keep getting involved in these things I love being involved in them but at the same time it feels like a pressure because you know it's the end of the month so today's January 31st my last thing that is a whip is the toe because I need to make another one of these so I've gotten that far in the second one <laughs> so um, they don't take very long to make so this is my first thing just to remake but I do need to put a um, border around these uh, somebody suggested that I do white because finally somebody did answer because I am putting these pom-poms so that they kind of have a Tinkerbell vibe and I thought about doing the white I thought oh that'd be cute to have the white around there but then I looked at the pictures and the pictures of Tinkerbell slipper she doesn't have anything around it's just the pom-pom it's not really a pom-pom it's like a seed on hers but you know she's a fairy I'm a big person so I'm probably just going to use the green to do the edge but I still could use white because that would be cute but we'll see we'll see I'll know by the end of today because I will do it by the end of today so yeah I'm this far on the second slipper and that covers the things that I've worked on this week I really haven't worked on a lot except for I did finish two hats so it kind of did because that was still five plus temperature projects, seven projects that I've worked on this week. But um, I have not worked on quite a few things that I would like to get done. But hey, tomorrow's a new month. Tomorrow's thing we're, things we're making Thursday is blankets, which means um, I have some things to work on. I have a new blanket I'm casting on tomorrow because I'm excited about that one actually. It's gonna have little squares. You need each square and then put them together. Um, and I'm doing that mostly to learn new stitches, but also because I can. And what better month to do that in than February? Things we're making Thursday is blankets. And the other thing that I'm doing is a combination between things we're making Thursday blankets and Mr. Yarn Challenge, I'm not doing a box exchange. I am doing a whip and I'm going to finish the multi-valence multi round blanket. I've not worked on it since I finished the Clue 9, but I will start actively working on that again tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow the stitch is pretty simple, but I'm hoping to get a fourth to halfway around the next round tomorrow. We'll see. Um, kind of like with the um, pouch for Caleb. It will be a, I, I will, will ask myself, ask of myself to do at least a fourth of a round each day. If the stitch is super easy, super fast, then I would like to do half of a round each day, but we'll see. So next week I should be able to show you that. <sighs> that's it for today um what are you guys working on what are you what are your plans this week um if you don't already know um i have a new facebook group it's pretty small right now but it's growing and i would love for you to come and join you can share all of your creations knit crochet weave yarn dyeing um diamond art painting, story writing and poems, uh, woodworking, stay, oh my gosh, my uncle used to do stained glass. He stopped because he passed away. That sounds so morbid, but I think he stopped before then because he got old, but he had the most beautiful stained glass. It was gorgeous. I wanted my group to be open to all kinds of creations because I think it is so fun to see what people are creating so it's called so magical creations 
and I would love for you guys to come join me. <laughs> Sorry. So guys, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.